In this video, I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly how I find virtual assistant client on Upwork. I'm going to use my current personal Upwork account. I will show you the keyword I use. I'm going to show you the filters that I use in order to find good opportunities. And I'm also going to show you exactly how I write proposals, how I send proposals on Upwork and everything that I include in my proposal. And all you need to do is simply copy the exact process that I'm going to show you right now. And if you haven't found any client, this process I believe is going to help you find your first client. Okay, without any more delay, let's just get started. Okay, here is my personal Upwork profile. First, let me check how many connect I have. Okay, looks like we are good. I have 48 connect left. Okay, the first thing that I do when I'm looking for a client is I come to this search bar and search for virtual assistant. Simply virtual assistant and just make it simple. Okay, these are all the jobs that have either have virtual assistant in the title or they have virtual assistant in the description or in the skills right here. But I'm not just going to start scrolling through the jobs because there are a lot of jobs that I'm not interested in. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to choose experience level. I'm going to choose to show entry level, intermediate and expert. But if you are getting, you are just getting started, I recommend you don't choose expert. Start with only entry level because I am a top rated on Upwork. So yes, I am an expert. I can choose to apply for jobs that expert that the client indicates they are looking to hire an expert. But if you are a beginner, I suggest you stick to entry level. Okay, the next filter that I'm going to add is the hourly rate. There are many jobs on Upwork that some client will add three dollars they are willing to pay only three dollars we want to avoid those kind of jobs for example this one right here they are willing to pay anywhere between six dollar and eight dollar per hour and i'm going to choose a minimum of ten dollar so that any job that appear here the client is willing to pay the minimum of ten dollar per hour okay the next filter that i am going to use is number of proposals I don't want to apply for a job that already 50 freelancers, already 50 virtual assistant applied to. So I'm going to choose to show only jobs that has less than five proposals and jobs that has five to 10 proposals. Because this will increase your chances of getting hired. If you apply to jobs that already 50 freelancers send their proposals, then the client might not even have the time to see your proposal. But if the client has five proposals then there is a very good chance they are going to see your proposal okay the next filter that i'm going to use is payment verified i want to see jobs from client who already verified their payment method because some potential client aren't really ready to hire they just post a job as a test or something like that so we want to avoid all this kind of wasted time and i'm going to choose payment verified Okay, the rest of the filters, you don't really need to worry about them. I never use any of the filters below. And these are all the filters that I added. You can see at the top right here. Hourly rate, a minimum of $10 per hour. Entry level, intermediate and expert. Less than 5 proposals, 5 to 10 proposals and payment verified. All the jobs that are going to appear here, they meet this criteria. Next thing is to just go through the jobs and find the one that I am interested in. Okay, this first one right here, they are looking for a virtual assistant with social media management experience for Telegram channels. Let me take a look. The first thing that I do when I open a job in Upwork, I don't even really start with reading this information. The first thing I do is scroll to the bottom and see if the client has any special requirement. Looks like this client doesn't have any special requirement. The next thing is I'm going to read and see if I'm interested in the job. Okay, if you read the job description, you can see right here they said the ideal candidate will be fluent in both English and Russian. I am not speaking Russian, so I am not fit for this job. Okay, this next one looks interesting. Let me take a look. We scroll to the bottom. And you can see under preferred qualifications, they are looking for a freelancer who has at least 80% job success score. 
this check mark right here indicate that i meet the qualification i have 100 percent job success score the next requirement is english level they are looking for someone with conversational level skills in english and i met this requirement also the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to read and see the job description if i really meet all their requirement okay it looks like i meet all their requirement and i'm interested in this job so i'm going to click apply now in order to send my proposal okay first i'm going to choose the profile i'm going to apply with i'm going to apply with my virtual assistant profile okay next you can see this proposal require 13 connect when i submit my proposal i will have 35 left then we scroll to the bottom this is the job description that they added the one that i read previously and we come down here we set the hourly rate that we are willing to accept the client is willing to pay up to $15 so I'm going to choose 15 in order to meet the client budget okay we scroll to the bottom and right here they are asking you how often do you want a rate increase I normally just choose neighbor because I'm a virtual assistant okay I scroll to the bottom and this is where I'm going to write my proposal and one thing to note is I, I never really use a template one standard template for everything I customize I write proposals from scratch for every job that I apply to so I'm going to take a minute to write this proposal and then we can review it together okay so this is a proposal that i just wrote i am sure there are some typing errors there are some mistakes next thing i'm going to review it what i recommend you do is you just copy this proposal you go to grammarly and you proofread but because i already have grammarly extension on my browser i can use grammarly to proofread right here in the tab without going to grammarly so now i'm just going to go through it and make any changes necessary and fix any grammatical errors Okay, now I fix all the grammar and all the typing mistakes. Let me quickly read the cover letter or the proposal so that you understand what I wrote. I start with simple hello. I have gone through the job description you provided. I understand your requirement and I am interested in taking the job as an experienced virtual assistant with 30 years of experience. I started my career as a full-time sales representative. I say this, I started my career as a full-time sales representative because they are looking for a virtual assistant with marketing experience. So this is relevant. After working for four years, I got promoted to administrative officer where I worked for another two years. I used the knowledge and experience I gained during my full-time job to become a virtual assistant. I have been a full-time virtual assistant for the past three years and I have had the opportunity to work with different clients from different industries with different needs. This allowed me to gain a great deal of knowledge and experience in so many areas. Working with social media is one of my favorite tasks and I have a good knowledge of social media management and marketing, both organic and paid marketing. I said this because they are looking for someone who's experience in social media management. Here is a video testimonial from one of my clients. I have video testimonials from my client, so I normally usually attach a video testimonial that is also going to encourage them. And my hourly rate is $15 and I'm available to start right away. I say this because I, I don't want to like haggle with client. So that is why I, right away in my proposal, I mentioned this is my rate. So that if they respond to my proposal, it means they are okay with my rate. I am looking forward to the opportunity to meet, to meet with you in an interview to learn more about the position and how my skills and experience will benefit your business. 
thank you for your time i always close with something with something often right i am not just asking them to give me the job i am asking them for an interview i am asking them for a zoom interview because there is a very there is a much higher chance they will respond to you if you propose an interview or if you close with a question with an often-ended question then if you simply close with i am waiting for your response or if you close with something like i am the right person for the job i am looking forward to getting started okay so this is uh, that's all i have in the proposal and this sections right here is just additional information that the client is asking because i am not really actually looking for a client i'm not going to waste my time here they said describe your recent experience with similar project what i just need to do here is i'm just going to think of one project that i did one work that i did for a client previously and i'm just going to write some explanation about it list any certifications related to this project i have hubspot social media marketing certification so i will have added it right here so if i submit my proposal right now if i submit this proposal it means i am going to waste the client time that is why i'm not going to submit the proposal because if i submit and they respond to me i'm going to have to tell them hey sorry i don't have the time to take the job now so but if i'm going to apply for the job actually all i'm going to do is just send for that in connect this bid section i simply just avoid it but it's up to you but i advise you just avoid this bid section i'm going to just send it for that in connect okay so that's it this is the exact process that i followed to find all my clients on upwork and you can simply copy this process but just remember if you are a beginner you are not looking for clients who are looking for expert and also the proposal section is very important to make sure you customize the proposal you write the proposal based on the job description and before you apply for the job make sure you meet all the client requirements okay next you can watch this video to learn the top 10 most common virtual assistant interview question and how to answer them. If you find the video helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next one.